Well, I just bought this Craftsman 8 amp electric. Every box has what it is now on it. There's your electric symbol. So this is electric, chainsaw, pole cutter. Um, I didn't need anything huge and heavy duty, but I'll take it apart, put it together, and you can see how it works. We could all see. Okay, this is the Craftsman 8 amp electric. Well, it's electric chainsaw and a pole saw. I got some limbs I gotta take down, so I pulled it out. It's got some uh, couple extensions. It's got the electric chainsaw part. We'll put it together. I'll show you how it works. And give you an idea how much I like it. Okay. Well, I took this thing out. The pole joins, it screws together, the pole's in um, two different pieces. Plugs in back there, the wire goes through here. And this wacky contraption, you have a regular chainsaw. And I'm gonna take it apart now, but this thing unscrews. A big long screw that goes to this other side and there there's our chainsaw comes apart there's a plug unplugs let me get this there so here's your chainsaw regular electric chainsaw but the issue is here's the cap that goes on the other side the issue is This chainsaw is way too heavy for the end of this. All it is is like putting a chainsaw on the end of a freaking fishing pole. And I just extended it up all the way, which is probably, what's it say? I don't know, at least 10 feet. Yeah, 10 feet or something like that. But uh, it's too much. I did cut one branch, but it's like, it's not even worth it. You put your oil in here. I cut one branch. I'm going to go ahead and return it because it's just, it's not worth the hundred and, I know I paid at least $110 for it, but I'm done. There's got to be something better. Maybe I'll try that $69 Harbor Freight one. At least it doesn't have a chainsaw at the end of it. All right, we'll let you know what's next.